The CMH Group, not just your local dealership, but the motoring team dedicated to your vehicle needs. Whether you are looking to buy a new or used car online or in one of our many dealerships, our trained staff will be there to guide you. With our state-of-the-art service centers, products and parts, we guarantee peace of mind. The CMH Group isn't just the first choice, we are the only choice. Visit your local CMH Group dealers today. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your patience. The action will continue shortly. It's been absolutely fantastic. A big round of applause to everyone that has competed tonight. You've been outstanding. Win or lose, thank you very much for your time. It's all going to a good cause. Check out samaf.org for more information. Also, a big shout out to all our sponsors involved. All right, the action continues. Up next, it's my honor to introduce an MMA legend Former two-time EFC champion. He's a grappling legend. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Adam Speechley. His opponent tonight, all the way from Port Elizabeth, Kebecha, I should actually be saying. Big L, we need to work on the script a little bit here is Jubair Grigor. It's in a 20 minute submission only bout. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jubair Grigor. All right, I'll leave it now to our commentary team to continue this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. So our super fight, second super fight for the night, um, Joubert Grigor from PESFA, um, up against uh, huh, somebody who needs no, no introduction, Adam Speechley. And um, I've got Dylan Carrera Miguel, one of our first super fights sitting next to me. Thank you for joining me, bro. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me again. I think what we're going to see now is a very interesting matchup stylistically. Adam plays a nice top game, almost lulls his opponent into his pace. And your bear's got a very nice leg lock game, so it's going to be very interesting stylistically. And, and do you think it's almost a little, a little bit of like new school versus old school? Definitely. I think yeah. both. I think both matches have had that feel. My my match with Cedric, and now this. Yeah. Your bear trying to climb around. Yeah, he's got Great that hard part. Um, straight oh, through to the underhook sweep with um, almost like a waiter sweep. That was beautiful. Mm. Great um, timing. As you can see, Adam just rolling with it, not not fighting too much. Absolutely. It's a 20-minute match. Yep. Yeah. Um, and if um, if I'm not mistaken, if this does go to um, time, it then goes to EBI rules. Yeah. Yeah. Whew, after 20 minutes, to still have an EBI. Um, um, <laughs> man. <laughs> I was done after four. <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful fight, Dylan. Um, and thank you for joining me, bro. I really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. So, Grigor, I, I thought he was going for an armbar there. Also did, and then he had the back exposure, but yeah. Adam just turned the corner again. And let me tell you, man, Adam's, um, Adam's sneaky. Very. Adam's sneaky. Can't play his pace. Yeah, he, he lulls you into this mm. false sense of security, and then he jumps on you. And interesting for Grigor, um, really interesting, is that he's in the super fight, and directly after this, well, not directly after this, but later he's on in the, in the evening, again. he's in the finals with Team PESFA against uh, Team CRT. Yeah, he is a bit ballsy? Around. I think so, but it's what you've got to do now. I think to get your name out there, yeah. get on the mat as much as you can, and take advantage of this opportunity. Oops, and then trying to get yeah. the, the first hook in there, basically. Yeah, uh, uh, for a second there, I thought, uh, so you see Grigor's head's under, under speech leaves. I thought mm. he was actually going for the back. Yes. Um, I thought he was going to use that as a pillow. Yep. Th yeah, there, there we go. go again. Sitting switch back. That, switch that right leg over if you can. Back up to weak side. And Adam's so relaxed. So relaxed. Just like just another day in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one thing about Adam as well, he's deceivingly strong. Set mechanical and technical strengths. Mm. 
Yes, absolutely. That's a very, very, very nice way of putting it. Okay. And what I'm really liking about this um, is the pace that they're fighting um, matches that the, the time on the clock. And what yes. I mean by that is it's a 20-minute fight, and the guys are taking yep. their time. They they're looking for for the right technical movement, mm. um, like not gassing one another out. Yes. And you can see your bear's trying to invert under, and Adam's just blocking him, using his head as a frame, but essentially, and just blocking him every time from getting under him. Absolutely. Um, so your bear's got a deep, deep, deep underhook yep. now. Trying Let's to see. sit up. So he's, he's, and he's got the half butterfly. Yep. So the idea would be, ah, okay, so, um, man, Adam's really good at getting re-butterfly, uh, re-underhooking, re, um, eh? Yep. Some good pommeling going on there. Trying to go for the arm drag. Very I, I actually, for a second, thought he was going to set up a barata platter. Yeah. Hey? Because the way the angle was pointed down. Yep. Um, the elbow was pointed down. Okay, and so. I'm going for a body, body lock, lock pass here. Mm. Yeah. Your bear's going to have to be very, very fluid now with his leg pommel. Oh, look how beautiful oh. that hip movement was by, um, by Adam, eh? He's going to probably come back. Here we go. Look for a back step. Going for the Kimura now from the other. Wouldn't be too smart, I don't feel. There no, we go. He's got to get that leg back in, just like he did. There we go. So you bear almost regarding there. Yeah, getting him back into a little bit of an open guard. And he stopped that uh, body lock pass. Man, this is some good jiu -jitsu. This is very, a very, very technical match. Here we go. Now he can look to try and invert with that grip. And he has to keep his hips heavy on that top leg. So that he does, you know, they can't do exactly what he just did and get him back into butterfly guard. Yeah. So, so you bear fighting really hard for that underhook mm. and that half butterfly. You can see he loves that position, and I too love it. It's one of my favorite positions. Um, but, but, but. So what's interesting is you see, um, uh, Adam's actually going for. He's blocking that hip beautifully with his right hand. Yeah. So what he's actually doing is. We, we call it a pepper grinder. When we go all yes. the way through, yes. right down to the ground, um, what's interesting is Joubert's not using that to sweep. Mm -mm. I don't think he wants to sweep him. I think, he, I think he's looking for some leg lock entries and to invert. Oh, there we go. Looked like he was going for a little arm. Exactly that. I think, yeah. I think he's going... So you think his game plan is to stay at the bottom? I think he's, he's to be effective from bottom and to now capitalize as the match goes later on a mistake that Adam makes from this position. But at what point do we realize that Adam is shutting me down and I'm going to have to start changing my game plan? I, I think that's the, that's the pro element here in these matches, which is very new to a lot of competitors, obviously. is just staying patient and sticking to your game plan. Again, like, like Adam's doing, just persisting with now another body lock pass, not being phased by Gregor's attempts, even now with the triangle, he's staying very calm. Yeah. So, um, interestingly, um, Speechley's obviously moved down to Cape Town. Yep. And um, who's in his corner? Coach um, yes, Yoda himself. <laughs> <Kurt> <laughs> Yoda George. himself. Uh, Coach George is here out of Henzo Gracie, and that's where um, Adam is busy um, training out of at the moment. Obviously, he used to be Attila, um, and now he's uh, Henzo Gracie, and Coach George sitting there. And on the opposite end, we've got Reese and we've got Chris Bright sitting there, watchfully um, um, passing on instructions to, to Grigor. Um, what a beautiful evening of jiu-jitsu. It's unbelievable. The, the caliber of the corners is truly, truly unbelievable. The, the presence of absolute legends. Yeah, yeah. We've got, uh, I, think, I think there's been more black belts in this room than there have been in, in a while. Eh? Yep. Think about it. Seriously. Yeah, no, 100%. And, and what is very interesting is stylistically the Renzo Gracie team from Cape Town, very, very, very focused on ADCC style competing. Yeah, so Kurt They've George himself hosted. actually hosts. Um, yep. He has the he has they the license for ADCC. Their student Peyton Nature just went and won ADCC uh, European in Europe. trials. That's right. And now Adam, someone with his wrestling style and pace, getting a mixture there. It's a beautiful combination. You can see yeah. how calm he so is in these transitions. So another thing that Henzo is known for very very well, right. obviously coming under, um, 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 is leg locks. Yeah. And what's going to be interesting is... Oh, beautiful sweep. He finally what got under his hips. He yeah. finally got his hips under Adam's hips and got the sweep. So now we're going to see what happens with Greg on top. Yep. And Adam at the bottom. Adam looking very, very chilled there. Greg must just take yep. his time. 
Um, is Adam wanting to invert it? Here okay, we so go. Griego's got Stepped his leg. over. Yep. Yeah, he's past the knee oh. line and out. Okay. So he definitely had his ankle there. Just couldn't secure the knee mm. line. So like with an arm bar and you want to be over the elbow, with the knee you want to, with the legs you want to be over the knee. Yeah. On that thigh, pinch it nice and tight. Ensure that uh, there's no rotation. Um, this is such a beautiful match stylistically and technically to watch. And Adam's still just, actually both competitors, just cool as a, cool as a summer breeze. And some banter between the corners, which is also <laughs> in the spirit of the evening, which is exactly what we want to be seeing. Of course, I can't tell you how many times I've uh, I've been I've been both um, announcer and uh, and 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 producer and then coach, <laughs> and then swearing at the other coaches and then hugging them after. That that's what this community is about. You know, it's a very small community still. And yeah, and I mean the black belts. We all know one another. Yeah. we've all trained with one another for years. And 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 um and to give guys like you a compliment, of, you know, for us to watch you guys come up from white belts through blue belts, um, reach the big boys, the, the purple belts, because really that's what it is. And and to see you mature and grow as competitors, um, it's so it's so unbelievably amazing, dude. And and thanks to events like this, we we definitely going to see more people going along that line. And here we can, if you see when you're watching this, you can constantly see a battle between. You know, trying to get his legs on the inside of Adam's legs, and Adam basically trying to do the opposite. Yeah, precisely. You bear wants to get on, on that inside track. Look, he's going for that underhook again. Yep. Um, and and you and Adam just blocking him. So now the issue. So, so he keeps on using that wizard, right? Yeah. And, and and should Adam? I mean, should Grigor not be using that wizard to to use the counter and go for that half guard sweep? Yeah, I think with the butterfly hook on the opposite side, you would you would think he would take Adam towards the side that he has the wizard, but Adam's base I'm sure is yeah. deceptively Absolutely. heavy yeah, and he you probably doesn't want to gas his legs too much by bearing that weight on. This Yobe really doesn't want to be in this type of position now. Yeah. Adam can start, there we go, that leg pommel there, he's trying to he's find trying to his, his, the his inside right of the knee. Inside yeah. knee. Um, and and I, I just can't see how this is good for Team Pesva in terms of their, their fight. Yeah. Really. I mean, this is Grigor being down for, uh, Uber Grigor being minutes. down for 10 minutes now. Yeah. Um, and it's, it may not seem like a lot is going on, but mentally, you, absolutely. you uh, should to remember to breathe. The grip fights alone <gasps> in that fight are, 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 are I mean, he, their arms are gassed by now. Yeah, for sure. What a fight, guys. Oh, uh, here we go. He has a okay. nice front so headlock head entry. Will he transition to a north-south or a DAS? There going we go. The he's DAS. going for the DAS. Yeah. He's rolling. So he, he's dropped, but I don't think he actually has the connection. I don't think he's got the grip. So, yes, he's dropped. Yes, his hips are in. But I, I don't think he has the no. connection on the DAS. Is he going to sit around for like a Katakatami variation? Your bed. Yeah. Your bed doing the right thing here, trying to fight the grips as per his corner's instruction. Adam starting to turn the corner. And now they're back to back to where they've been Ooh. for the majority of the match. What a fight. <laughs> I, can I tell you what? I'm tired watching them. Oh, I, aren't you glad this is not you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can see Adam driving his head into your bear's jaw just to break his posture so that he can't get under him effectively. So let me tell you something interesting about Adam. We've all known him forever, right? Yep. So I asked him what belt he was, and he's like, handsome, I'm an honorary purple belt. <laughs> I've never graded. But listen to that. I've never graded. Okay, and look at the level he's fighting. At. Yeah. Now that he's with uh, Kurt, I think this might be the next step in the evolution of jiu-jitsu. For sure. For Adam Speechley. I, I can't think of any reason why it wouldn't be. Yeah. We know, we know Henzo Gracie boys. We, we they are them. such We've an incredible gym. Against them. Um, and I think that maybe... Adam's always had the jiu-jitsu, he's always had the wrestling mm. um, coming from Attila. Now maybe the refinement of that jiu-jitsu yeah. will come. Yeah, but diving on the kimura and oh. walking around, oh, look he's at inverting that. beautifully. And, and he's going to sit back trying to go for the normal triangle here. Oh, but Adam is just so oh, savvy man. with his, he's using his forearms as frames to constantly stay on the inside. So Adam's been training for 17 years. <laughs> 17 years. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, in terms of actual training, it's two years longer than me. So I've been on the mats for 19 years. Here we years. go. He's got an inverted. He's, he's inverted beautifully into oh. the triangle. And he's... 
That's a problem. And luckily yeah. now there aren't any points, so he's not going to be but, penalized but this is the for thing that. About playing bottom game. Yeah. Right. Um, at, at this level, to win from the bottom, unless you're going for legs, is it's very extremely difficult. difficult. It's extremely yeah. difficult. Yeah. yeah. I think I think that Uber needs to start looking at you know, changing so up his game plan, and trying to get on top. If you see, even now in this situation where he had Adam's hand extended out, if you could try climb on the inside with his shins. Oh, here we go. He has another we go. He another example of when he's got that butterfly hook and he's just unable to utilize it. But also, do you see how Adam splays out his weight? Yes. As he gets the butterfly, he moves backwards. Yes. Um, to ensure that he's, 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 he's not able to get under. I think... I th there, I think Ben needs to start inverting again for that from that Kimura. He had a lot of success, almost bait the butterfly and then invert. So I can't remember a couple of years ago, um, Marcel also went down to ADCC, and I'm not sure if you were there with him, um, but he lost his 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 weight category far. Mm. Phoned me, said to me I was playing bottom. I swore at him, told him to play top, and he went in one absolute. Here we go. He's, he, I think he might have a triangle entry. I can't see from the other side. No. I think Adam's, Adam's got his up. leg pinned. His left leg pinned. Yes, he did. I think you, you have to have a very aggressive bottom game in order to be effective. It's just no gi. Yeah. Six minutes left on the clock. Um, that means these guys have been in it for 14 minutes. <sighs> um, uh, you see, I just think that um, I think that Jubair needs to get on top. So, so I, will, I will say one thing. I'm I'm stuck now between wanting to see a finish yes. and wanting to see the eye rolls. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's yeah, I mean these guys in EBI rules, right? They could go for another ten minutes. Yep. Yeah. Easy. But this is submission only. Exactly. And I think you know, I think Adam has a lot more in his tank. Then you're being mart at this point because we, it's been played at Adam's pace. And also, you has been at the bottom. Yeah. Right. Absorbing. So like, see, now situations like this, when Adam's almost passing, yeah. I think slowly he's going to have more success yes. in the latter stages and of this match. And also, Ubez having to carry that weight constantly. Yep. All the time. It's knee slice passing, it's heavy hips passing. So, like, cross face against yeah. the face, grindy. So, like, now, he's got that, that far side butterfly hook in, and he's just using it to re-guard almost. Yeah. And to stop him from passing. There's no, no so offense he's got happening. Half, half, half butterfly right Yes. Now, okay. And this is where I'm saying, it's at this point now that he should look to transition up, yep. to take back, alternatively, potentially, to try and go for the sweep. Yeah. And what I'm trying to say is, his bottom game isn't working. No. So, so now it's time to, to start changing up. Yes. Having said that... Adam hasn't been able to pass. No, no, it, 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 <laughs> he hasn't. So it's been it's been a very interesting match and, and definitely a draw so far. I, I would say, obviously, if I had to score this, if yeah. we were, I, I don't even know. Draw. No. I think as jujitsu practitioners, we would say draw just because we appreciate the bottom game. Absolutely. Um, I would probably give it to Adam. Yeah. Um, I would probably give it to Adam. He has passed a bit more. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, he's transitioning oh. nicely. Can he get to the back from here? So he's so in now, this front headlock happens. position again. He had a, a DAS entry from earlier. Can he step around? Oh, beautiful defense by Yobi. Beautiful. Yeah. Just timing. That's it. Here's a sweep potentially. I just yeah. hooked with that bottom leg. And, and, and look how heavy Adam's hips mm. are. And super, it's right on top. Heavy. You can see he's just oh, yeah, oh, a beautiful it's back step. But, but those frames, back in? Yeah. beautiful. Amazing bottom frames, eh? Extremely, extremely good basics. And you'd expect nothing less from someone coming from PESFA. Yeah. Yeah, Chris's guys are so high level, man. So high level. So high level. And Chris himself is so high level. Uh, high level basics creating the foundations for more exotic games. Nicely put. Thank you. Yeah. And one thing that PESFA is known for, and, and I mean, is they... they each of the guys pick a thing. another inversion. You see, he's yep. having success with these inversions, but now Adam gets passed. When he went inverted, I think he should have created that scramble a little bit Definitely. more there. Definitely. I think it was a little bit too lax. Yeah. See, okay. another so dash. Oh, this could be deep. That he's walking deep. around nasty. He's walking around nasty. Can he turn this into an anaconda? He has. He's walking. He's, he's walking. So you there we go. He's got the tap. Beautiful. 
beautiful patience from Slow Adam Speech. submission. Beautiful, beautiful entry and so much respect given to this so route. Was that the Darcy or the Anaconda? It was the Anaconda. Beautiful. Yeah. It looked Darcy to me, um, but I think he changed it at the, at the end. It was yeah. a beautiful transition. To an Anaconda. What a fight. If, if it was a Darcy, I apologize. Two and a half, two and a half minutes, minutes out, left. all the black belts are just swearing at you. Yeah. yeah. It's a DOS. Yeah. So I'm saying it looked Darcy to yeah. me. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs>